So there's another video out of the boys, out of Katusha here. So they're doing the last couple kilometers of uh, stage four, I believe it is, in the Santos Tour Down Under 2018, and uh, be prepared to see some incredible speeds as they do. Bit of bit of race based simulation. Um, so I'm not really sure what's going on here, and then they decide to they decide to hit it basically. And when they when when pro teams decide to hit something, things stay hit. Right here we go. You know we're surging up a little bit. Um, this will be a really exciting part to watch the race because there's some big ups and downs that sort of like kickers into each other there. They're really good fun. Um, so you can see here the guys in the front are signed to hit it and up we go. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, we're going 54Ks an hour here and that guy fucking is smashing around it. Incredible scenes. Uh, look how fast. So I'm struggling to hold the wheel. I don't really know what's going on. We're going 80, 83, 85, 90Ks an hour. I'm just on the drops just trying to get as aero as possible. Stop pedaling, get up to like 140 cadence. Insane how fast they were going down that. It was good fun. It was really good fun following them. Like great fun. You can see them sprinting outside, but it was it was full gas. Uh, ninety k's an hour pedaling is is it's scary, man. It's scary. Like it was great fun with the lads. They were no fear at all. They just fucking get it done. Hold the wheel. Like as soon as they as soon as the person on the front started hitting it, everyone was sprinting straight away. Got on that wheel and just absolutely hold it. Um, so you can see here we're doing some good watts to try and follow them here. Um, it was good fun, good fun indeed. Um, yeah, I'm not sure, like, look how, it was, it was good. You can see my heart rate was really going. For them, that was like a chilled effort. Like, they were probably like, could do that for the next, they could hold that pace probably for the next like 10 minutes to an hour or something, like all of them together. That's the sort of, I guess, race pace speed at world tour level. But for me, after like 10 minutes, I was, oh, well, not even 10 minutes, after like, Three or four minutes. I was well, not even that. Probably a minute or two. I was just completely done. Oh, that was that was great fun. Um, it really did put into perspective how fast these guys are. Like they just hit it and it just stays hit for so long. Like they, like when I went with um Trek the other day, one of them attacked, but you didn't go that hard. But that was like phew, incredible scenes. Um, but I think we're just descending into a Rydler now. Um, it's it's a good. It's good in a little town. Um, I think the finish is basically you do a bit of descent and then come up, pop up to the right. Um, so it should be it should be a great stage. Can't wait to watch it. After having ridden a couple times, those descents. If someone puts a fifty five on, fifty five tooth chain ring on and just hammers it down there, they might be able to get a gap because after this, this is a really fast descent. If you were pedaling again, you could probably get up to seventy k's an hour. If you're pedaling, we're just taking it easy, but. And then there's their last little ramp, so there's definite chance. Because after Norton's, uh, Norton's it will be hard, but it won't create that many splits. But there's a nice 10% wall before it. So maybe you could split there or just do it on the downhill. There's definitely opportunities for a solo rider to really break away on that stage, definitely. Um, it'll be great great fun to watch. Uh, these guys were, Nathan Haas was talking a lot actually to the guys about the stage and what they should expect, when they should move up, when they really need to stay together. He was saying just... Just as you turn right, going towards the Rydler, uh, off Norton Summit Road, uh, like after the continuous part after Norton Summit, he said, that's where we need to stay together. That's where it's going to get strung out, he thinks, just after that 10%. Because I think a lot of, lots of people will be tired, but get it just over Norton Summit. And then when it ramps up to 10%, people are going to go. And uh, that's when you need to be on it. I think Nathan Hass is looking for a good result um, this this next week. So should be interesting to see how he goes. It was great riding with him. Uh, he's a really nice guy. Uh, talked a lot. He's just ha like appreciated that we n knew where to go and help help them with directions, which is always always nice. They're just like great bunch of guys. They're running nice bikes. They're running the air road, and you can check off. I think that's ahead of us. Is uh, is running the uh, ultimate CFS LX. None of them wearing discs. They're, you like that? They're just polite. They let you know they're gonna like spit or whatever they're gonna do, so you don't end up crashing. You can see they take it pretty chill on the downhills most of the time. Um, letting them know there's cars. They're just just great, great bunch of people, who um, who are super experienced. And I think the finish is just up here, uh, just around the corner actually. So I think this video will end pretty much where the finish will be. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how fast they're going now. But this will be if it becomes a bunch sprint. I think Sagan or someone like that, um, who's more of a puncher, will definitely have a massive advantage because. The, there'll be a lead out probably up to here, and then just a sprint up the rest of the hill. And it's not too steep. You can see here it's like five five percent so that's that's probably like 40 50 k's an hour if you're going full gas sprint up that um 
thousand, thousand three hundred watts, whatever they do, it's insane. Um, but yeah, it's it's been been great riding this week with the teams. Great observing what they do, how much they drink, how much water they have, etc. How much uh, food they eat. It's been really good fun. Really enjoyed it. Um, I've got lots of other videos like this, so if you wanna if you wanna watch them, click around. There should be some links around. And um, cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next vid. Bye.